All right, what's up everybody? I have got a HOTAS update for y'all. Here's the thing, I'm not actually using the HOTAS. After a, f a few days of trying to uh, make it intuitive and uh, you know learn it to the best of my ability, I kept running into the same problem, which was that the control for the throttle just didn't feel right for me. So after a few days of trying HOTAS mode, I decided to switch over and check out what it would be like to run HOSAM, which is hands on stick and mouse because uh, I was really lacking the accuracy from aiming with the stick that I had when I had the mouse. The thing about mouse and keyboard is you lack the feel with your with your movement bound to the keyboard. You lack the feel and you lack the precision that you get with you know a throttle and stick. So I so said why don't I just do the best of both worlds and have the precision of the mouse for aiming and have the feel of the stick. So so I tried it and basically within a few minutes I was pretty close to almost as good as I used to be with the mouse and keyboard in terms of dogfighting. I think this is what I'm going to end up sticking with because it's way more intuitive than the throttle. I think the throttle would be great for modern combat, you know, flight sims like DCS or Microsoft Sim. But one of the things about the throttle and stick is it doesn't really allow you to to bind anything for your up and down strafe that's remotely intuitive. And that's what I was really missing because up and down strafe in Star Citizen is so important for your dogfighting. It needs to be like right there, you know, for you to use. The other thing that's cool about the stick is that it's a return to center system, you know, just like an analog stick on a controller, the stick always wants to be in the center. Whereas the throttle, you push it forward, it's gonna stay where you put it, you know? So when, you, especially when you're learning, it makes it really difficult if I push it all the way forward, I'm at full throttle. I'm gonna, if you just forget that you have it there because you're focusing on other, you know, inputs, you're gonna be at full throttle the whole time and that's really bad for a dogfight. Whereas the stick, it lets you return to center, which is great for dogfights because you don't wanna be at full throttle all the time. In fact, you're at full throttle pretty rarely in dogfights. So the return to center is really nice because uh, if you forget about it, it's just gonna come back. You know, it's gonna have that constant pushback on you that's gonna remind you of your speed because speed modulating your speed is really important here's what i've bound to my stick basically what i've done is made it so that everything i would do on the keyboard with my left hand for mouse and key movement is now bound to the stick so my stick is my keyboard and my mouse stays almost the same as if it were just mouse and keyboard which makes it really easy for me because mouse and keyboard is what i learned on movement with the left hand aiming with the right hand i feel like that's the best i feel like that's just the most intuitive way for a pc gamer to to do this so here here here's the way i bound it obviously the y-axis forward and back is throttle forward and back uh, the x-axis the side to side is my roll you can do twist if you want to but i, th I feel like twisting on the throttle is just a, such an unnatural movement that i wanted to bind to twist the thing I use the least, which in Star Citizen and space games in general is gonna be your side to side strafe. You're not really gonna use it very often in dogfight and when you need to use it, it's probably when you're landing and taking off, which is a very low stress, you know, situation. So side to side strafe, I bound to twist. This is the important part. I decided to bind the up and down strafe to my two triggers because it seemed like the most intuitive choice because the other option would be your twist for up and down which is what most people who run hosas or hosam up and down strafe is twist but again twisting i feel like it reduces your accuracy if you're rolling to the side and you're pushing forward and you're trying to twist like you're doing some sort of weird acrobatic movement with your hand and i just feel like it's really unnatural and so when i was trying to work this out i just my hands just automatically wanted to pull the trigger to go up and down i was like oh might as well just set it in stone then if my hand already wants to do it let's just do it so that's what i did there cruise control is on this button up on the hat is boost down on the hat i hold that for free look this hat on the top is my targeting system everything i need for targeting uh, these two buttons are my countermeasures countermeasures on the top flares on the top uh, noise on the bottom and then these you know bottom toggles on the deck here is down for power up for opening the doors and on this one it's down for landing gear and up for uh, request landing and takeoff so and then obviously on my mouse i've got yaw side to side uh, pitch up and down which would just be default for mouse users so nothing new there i've also got um on my side mouse buttons i've got my quantum drive and my acceleration limiter 
toggle on off. So theoretically, the only thing I have to touch the keyboard for when I'm flying is my Moby Glass, which I can't, it, the game just won't let me bind Moby Glass to something other than the F keys, which is really disappointing because I still have that, that targeting button on the, on the stick, which I would bind my Moby Glass to, and then I would really be hands off the keyboard. But you know, it's pretty good. I only have to go to the keyboard for that one thing, and it's nothing to do with flying. Even if I want to quantum travel, I don't have to do anything with my hands. I just click the mouse button. Pretty happy with this. I'm still getting better, but I'm already almost back to, you know, 100% like I was on the keyboard. I can't wait to try some PvP fights like this. The skill ceiling for the stick and mouse, I feel like, is the absolute highest in terms of input that you could go. Anything you want to do, and whatever degree of precision and accuracy and feel you want is there. It's just up to you to train and do it. You know? Unlike the keyboard where you only get max input for button presses, with the stick you're, you're only limited by your practice, which I think is really cool. And I'm really excited to keep training with the, the HOSAM. So from now on, when you see me fighting in Star Citizen, it's probably with the HOSAM. If I change, I will update you and let you know what I'm doing. Yeah, so that's the HOSAM.